Hi, Jason here, and in this video, I'm going to be comparing ChatGPT, the regular free version, with the newly released ChatGPT Plus, which is currently around $20 a month. Maybe there's some tax added on, depending on where you are in the world. Now, us in the UK, we got it a couple of days ago, so I've had a good chance to play about with it, and it is uh, lovely, I have to say, just being able to log in and know it's going to work every time, because you've probably seen we're at capacity now. Now, many times when using the free version, um, which drives you crazy. So let's try it out. So the window on the left over here, this is the plus, as you can see, chat GPT plus right there in the middle. And we don't have like the usual stuff we do with the free one where they give you examples, because I guess they are sort of assuming that you know by now how to use it if you've paid to have the plus version. And um, you've got two modes with the plus version, default, and then a turbo one there, which is optimized for speed. So I don't know what the difference will be in terms of how well it will produce the content. Will the content be as good as in the default mode? I don't know. So we're going to have a little experiment in this video. And if you want more videos uh, about ChatGPT, then please do subscribe to my channel uh, and like this video if you want to see more of it in your feed. So let's just give it a few commands at the same time and let's comp compare the two of them. So first of all, we'll try this this, which is just a 500 word article in a satirical style, which is my new favorite uh, chat GPT writing style. It is it is quite funny the way that it writes. Um, uh, why electric cars are better than petrol cars. So let's try that in both. And we'll press go at the same time. We'll give maybe we'll give the free version just a teeny weeny head start. So I'll press go on that one. Go on this one. And let's see how they both do. Uh, first of all, what's interesting to note, of course, is that they are different. So the, the article is being written differently, but we've got Chats GPT Plus is in the lead here at the moment. It's already on its third big paragraph, whereas the free version's on its second. And uh, let's read the first paragraph here of the free one. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around and listen carefully to the biggest breakthrough of this century. The age of petrol has come to an end and the era of electricity has begun. Yes, you heard it right. Electric cars are better than petrol cars. Don't believe us? Well, let us enlighten you with the reasons why. And then it goes on. So it's a pretty good starter, I think. But now in chats GPT plus, it's almost finished because it's at the conclusion part. In conclusion, it's clear that electric cars are the answer to all of humanity's problems, apparently. So there we go, done. Um, this is done. And uh, it's even added a disclaimer on there on the plus version as well. And then the free version is still going, but does, you know, actually look like a good quality article just as it does with the, uh, the plus version. So what I'm seeing so far here is not a difference in quality. It's just literally a difference in the speed at which the content is being produced. And that is that. So that's worked out quite well. And what does this one say here about in conclusion, electric cars are the way of the future and the better option for anyone who wants to save money, save the planet and enjoy a luxurious and quiet drive. So go ahead and make the switch. You won't regret it. I like it. They, they do write such great articles. And by the way, one thing I've noticed is that when you do write in a slightly satirical style, it does sound more human. It's, it gets rid of that robotic sort of very structured way that you get chat GPT writing writing in. Um, if you ever want to write an article, by the way, and get it through AI detection, then you should try my website below in this description, which is chatgptdetectors.com. It'll give you a chance to, uh, there's like a directory basically of all of the AI detectors, and you can just go through and try your article on each of them. If you want to pass them all, then I recommend uh, the other link underneath this video, which is for Quillbot. You can use Quillbot to paraphrase your article and it will then pass all of the AI detectors in my experience. So worth trying out. Now, um, if we take another command, let's try something else and we'll add it to this. I'm going to ask both versions now to produce a table with all the pros and cons of owning the two different types of cars. So we'll put it in there, put it in there. Remember, chat GPT plus is on the left side of my screen and let's go free one first. And then we're going to go with the chat GPT plus. So it's off. Um, again, already, look at that. The ChatGPT Plus has motored ahead 
uh, no pun intended, and created uh, this this chart is halfway through it already. But the free one is doing it. So what I really like, though, is for some reason on the plus version, we've got three columns here. The feature, the electric car, petrol car. Look, you know, this is such great content for using on a website. And this and now the free version have split it up into two tables. So that's interesting. I actually prefer it in the one like that. And the they are both now finished. So overall, I would say that they, they pretty much did it at the same speed, but I prefer the Pluses version. It looks, you know, fantastic. I mean, look at this, you know, the feature, we've got uh, environmental impact, noise pollution, performance, maintenance, cost, refueling, and range. And then it's got the pros and then the cons. It's just basically given the con for petrol cars of everything. But, you know, really, really good content. And I think... I would say the winner of this was really plus again, but you know, chat GPT free version did do it. And if I was perhaps more specific, I could have had it all in one table. And then, and then let's just try another little funny thing. Let's try and get it to come up with a title for this video. So I'm going to say, can you give me 10 titles for a YouTube video on comparing chat GPT with chat GPT plus? And let's see who is the winner here and produces the best results and in the fastest time. There we go. So every time, uh, look at that. Plus is already motoring ahead here. One, two, three. And the free version is now struggling. It's struggling to, to get going. Probably may even time out on me here. It may even time out on me. So for $20, you know, is it worth having that? you know, paid version, ChatGBD Plus, I think it probably is. If you're a business owner, at least, like myself, you need reliability, you want uh, quick fire answers, then I think that is the way forward. But it, it is doing it on the free version, you know. It just, it just depends how patient you are, how much time you've got, and, you know, what level of reliability that you need. Um, now, let's try something else. If we go for a new chat with the plus version, I'm just interested, uh, very interested, in fact, to see how well the turbo version does. So while a poor old free version is still going and it's on number two of the 10 title list, I'm just going to quickly go into here, into the plus, and let's get it to write that article again and look at it go. This is in turbo mode now. I love the way it starts. Well, well, well. Look who's finally come to their senses and decided to join the 21st century. That's right. I'm talking to all you petrol heads out there. You know who you are. The ones who scoff at the mere mention of electric cars and swear by the good old fashioned combustion engine. You know, you've got to love the way that it writes in satirical style. I love it. <laughs> this is brilliant. I think I'm also going to do another video on testing all of the writing styles of ChatGBT. Look out for that video very soon because I found out the other day that it has got a ton of different ways of writing. And I think you may be able to blend the different ways to make a really genuinely outstanding article. But in turbo mode, this thing um, actually just flew through this in chat GPT plus really, really did. And the article seemed to be, you know, every bit as good as the other article. Uh, like here it says, you know, but wait, there's more. Electric cars are also faster than petrol cars. I know, I know it sounds scary, but it's true. With instant torque and no lag time, electric cars can go from 0 to 60 in a matter of seconds. Try doing that, you clunky old petrol car. I dare you. <laughs> you got It's like a brilliant, brilliant style of writing that it does. I love it. Um, and now, unfortunately, as you can see, the free version has virtually given up the ghost here. And it's only got to number two of doing that uh, YouTube title list of 10. So based on that, what do you think? I mean, is it worth $20 a month? Definitely. Now, I know that you're going to be able to get this on Bing soon. But, you know, having looked at how it operates on Microsoft's browser Bing, it isn't as free as this. Uh, and it's not giving you as longer results and stuff. So at the moment, you know, my preference is still to use chat GPT purely on its own. And also, I, I don't, I'm not being horrible, but I can't stand Microsoft's browser. I still can't. All this gamification and stuff you, you've got to do and, and things like that. I don't like the browser. I'll be honest. I use the Brave browser mainly and I get on really well with that. It's just a little bit more faster, streamlined, loads of plugins for us internet marketers to use. Um, just not a fan. 
But, you know, for people who want it built into the search results, maybe the Microsoft Bing and the, or the Edge browser with Bing on it is the way forward to, uh, for, for using ChatGPT. But anyway, that concludes this video, the little test between ChatGPT free and ChatGPT plus. If you found it useful and maybe it's helped you make a decision as to which one you should have, please do like the, the video and uh, subscribe for more videos on this kind of AI stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again real soon.